Hi and welcome to another 5 minutes tutorial from Blender Insight and this time I will go through what an ORM texture is. So right in front of us we have some type of PBR material. I think it's some golden foil and to make this we use a lot of different textures here. So we have a texture for the ambient occlusion, we have a texture for color, one for metalness, one for roughness, one for normal, and one for displacement. And that is a lot of textures. So if you are doing a game, then you would like to save the amount of memory. You would also like to speed up render time and so on. And then you can reduce the amount of textures. And that is what this is about. Because if we go a little bit closer to, to all of these textures, then we can uh, see that the ambient occlusion, if I just take that one to the output, you can see that it's mostly white with some grayish in. And the same if I use, for instance, the metalness here, it's just the white because we are using metal. If it's black, then we are not using metal. And same with roughness, it's some type of grayscale here. So that means that all of these three textures are only using black, white or grey. So there's no need for us to use red or green or blue in some type of combination. That means that we can merge these together and of the three textures, ambient occlusion, roughness and metalness, we can create one single texture. So first of all, how can we do that in Blender? Well. We can use the compositor. So if you go to compositing, then you normally have something like this, and then you select use nodes and take away these render layers. And instead you add your input images. So you press shift A, input image. And then you do three of these. So shift D, shift D, and then you put in the ambient occlusion, the roughness and so on. So here we have some ambient occlusion. Uh, I also have some uh, roughness and I also have some uh, metallic. So I take in these. So now we have these three and you should also be aware of that all of these should be non-color. We are only working with data now, so non-color on e everyone. Then we just merge these together. So we press shift A again, go to color. And here we go to mix and combine color. And for the red, we use the ambient occlusion. So the one that says ambient occlusion, we take to the red. And for the next one, it's the roughness. So if this is the roughness, then we take that to the green channel. And the last one is then metallic. So we take that to the blue channel. And then we can take out this like like that and just save it uh, by render it out but before you do that you should also change the transform to be standard so we don't transform it into some AGX or filmic or something else it should be uh, what it is from the beginning so no transformation uh, and after that it's just to press F12 and you get something like this it could be purple, it could be green and so on. It depends mostly if you're using metallic or not, because metallic is blue, so that is what gives this uh, purple color. And then you save it, uh, I call it something .orm or ARM, and then you can use that when you create your PBR image. So I have now saved it, and I go back to my layout, and I fetch my uh, ORM texture, so I press Shift A, go to texture, image texture, and then I get this ORM that I have here now. And I can now just take and break all these channels here. So if I just go a little bit closer. So then I can take this and I can select and separate color. And then I know that the red, that is ambient occlusion. So I can use that one. And I can take away this one. And the next one, that is roughness. So then I can just use the roughness. 
in the green channel here and take away the roughness here. And finally, we have some metalness. So I take away the metalness. Uh, now you see we don't have any metalness, but if I then take that from the blue channel to metallic here, we get it back again. So now we have a reduced amount of textures by using this ORM uh, texture. So that is a very common way to work with uh, textures when you are making games that you're using the ambient occlusion, the roughness and metallic into one single texture instead of having three different. Okay, so hopefully you learned a little bit today as well. And as usual, I have a bye for now and see you later.